So everyone always likes the big bananas. Uh, this is Musabashu, the Japanese fiber banana. It's pretty much the most cold hardy banana. There, there is one other uh, smaller banana, uh, Musella laziocarpa, which doesn't quite have the typical banana shape. I do have one. So the fiber banana, I'd say these ones are probably about 14 feet now. Um, I have heard that of them getting up to 20. They're grown for their ornamental properties. You know, the huge giant leaves, these leaves are probably six feet long. Uh, pretty easy plant. I, I'm in zone eight, so it does quite well here. Uh, if we have a really cold winter, it can fry the canes. I mean, the first heavy frost, the leaves will get zapped. And then usually I cut them back. Um, I haven't protected them. I haven't really had a need. It hasn't been that cold. But in a real cold winter, I have had it where they get knocked. The canes or the, you know, the stem gets knocked right back to the ground. Um, this winter, they survived. And they were kind of putting out leaves all winter. And then we kind of get a bit of a frost. And it would kind of zap them. But now they're really pumping. Uh, once you start getting into the heat and the warm nights, that seems to be the, the big difference. They will flower every few years. When they flower, that particular cane will die. They do produce bananas. Um, they are technically edible, but not very tasty and big seeds. They do sucker. Uh, this was originally two that I put in here and there's gotta be at least six. Um, I do have them in multiple spots just cause I had so many pups. I just kind of stuck them all over the place. I got a couple more here. These ones are in more shade. So that's why they're not quite as big. Might be eight or nine feet. There's another one there, and there's one back tucked in here, and I have another, actually quite a large cluster um, in with some palms. So these ones actually like a lot of water. You really gotta give them a lot of water and feed them well. They're, they're very hungry plants just because they grow so fast. Uh, if they're suffering, in, in the heat in the summer, you'll see the, the leaves will start to turn brown. Uh, bananas do rip. If you have high winds or you get a high wind storm, they will rip. It's okay. This one has a couple of rips. This is a little bit of a windier spot. Um, so they will rip and tatter. Um, most of my yard is kind of protected now, so I don't have to worry about it too much unless we get some sort of wind event, which we do on occasion in the summertime when we get hot winds that come in from the interior of the continent and I think that about covers it so this is uh, Musabashi the Japanese fiber banana